I got really excited about dark matter, which is a, a type of matter, a, a material of some sort, that uh, is 90% of the mass of the universe. 90% of the mass, 90% of the stuff. But it's really weird because it goes right through ordinary matter, doesn't interact with it at all. Uh, it doesn't respond to light, only responds to gravity. So I, I thought that was the coolest stuff. And I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe actually what I really want to do is figure out what that stuff is. One in five sun-like stars has a planet between one and two times the radius of Earth. The question is, what are these planets made out of? And are they more like the Earth, rocky terrestrial planets, but a bit bigger? Or are they like Neptune, maybe, icy, or even some sort of mini gas ball, like really mini Jupiters, that all are at an orbital period, a distance from their star, where liquid water might be possible. When I was in eighth grade, I, I was really good at math, but I didn't want to, like, you know, be a math lead or anything, God. I mean, if you've seen Mean Girls, you know that being a math lead is social suicide, um, which, you know, I knew at, at that age. But I had this totally awesome math teacher who also ran the math team. His name was Mr. Bobbin, and he said, Lauren, you would really help out our math team, and you would really enjoy it. I, I still remember that day when I, after school, I walked over to the math room, walked in, and felt that maybe now things were gonna change because I was gonna be that girl who did math team. And that was a really scary moment, and things did kind of change, but definitely for the better. I know sometimes math can seem really scary in school. I definitely had some scary math courses in college. Um, but don't worry, just take it at your own pace if you want to do it. You can learn whatever you put your mind to.